channel so switch on the switch so you can see there is a spark so this is the fault with this switch now we need to replace it with unused alternate switch from another switchboard I am unplugging this plug so you can see the switch is very loose there is no need to apply too much force both the switches are fault in this I am going to replace the left side switch before that we need to remove the switchboard first take out the frame and unscrew the both screws watch this video completely otherwise you will get confused so while doing this works it's better to use a gloves so our switchboard is out so we need to remove the left side switch so this is the alternate switchboard in this there is a switch which is unused that means it's not used for any purpose and it's working fine I'm going to take this fine working switch and put it back into that fault switch now the switchboard is out so that is the switch which is left towards fan socket I'm going to take out that switch so I forgot to switch off the that is MCB so I switched it off and now I'm going to take it out now the switch is out now I am going to take out the fault switch I have many more videos in my playlist and they are differentiated by the categories you can search it in my playlist and please subscribe to my channel and like this video so this is the fault switch I am taking it out just push it towards outside so it will get disconnected from the switchboard so this is the fault switch and this is the new one so install it back as we removed it in the same way push it from the outside so it will get fitted now connect the wires power lines and the neutral one
so L1 is the power line which has current in it so before making this video I switched off the MCB so I will not get any shock from this yellow power line tighten the screws Confirm all the screws are tightened. So it's time to put back the switchboard. So put it back as it is yeah, like previously how it is. Now the fault switch is replaced with new switch. Now going back to the another switchboard. Now make it the make it ready. Plug in the switch. So coming back to the place, you can listen the switch nice. It feels like something is broken inside this fault switch. Now I am putting back this fault switch where I removed the alternate working switch. Now we need to put back the yellow power line and a neutral line for that switch. Now it's completed. Now put back the switch board into this board socket. We need to put back the screws and tighten it. Most of this video is fast end, so there is no need to skip this video in between. Now final step is put back the frame 
and it's completed now we need to switch on the miniature circuit breakers now all the power lines are on we need to go to the switch where we replaced it with new one and I will show you the demonstration now it's working fine you can see once I switch on the switch you can see there is no spark the diode is showing working perfect and the power line is good this is how we can replace the switch